Okay, this is my first ever leopard sighting in the Kruger. We've got two leopards here. I believe it is Tandi and Tamba. They're up in a tree at the moment. A place of safety for leopards. An area filled with lions and hyenas which could definitely pose a risk to these leopards. So they are comfortably positioned and perched up in what looks like a big beautiful marula tree. And he's just repositioning, getting nice and comfortable. They've wedged themselves onto those branches getting comfortable and now they can relax. We've got some nice warm morning sunshine warming them up. So I'm unfamiliar with these leopards. I'm sure the viewers know them very well. So I'd say looking at them it looks like we've got the perhaps the male on the left. Actually, I'm going to put it out to the viewers. Who do we have on the left and who is on the right? The leopard on the left certainly appears to be larger. Look at that paw. That's a massive paw. Of course, males are bigger than females. But this is a mother and her son. Send through your guesses. Who do we have here? Who's on the left and who's on the right? Hashtag Safari Live. Well, it is a Sunday morning. And so I suppose lying about is the thing to do. They've probably had a very busy night. Patrolling the bush, looking for something to catch. And with the sun rising, I'll make the weapon to the tree. Okay, it seems definitely a cub on the right side. White Lady Eel, how do I feel about my first leopard sighting? Ecstatic. I mean, leopards are incredible. It seems like the, the cub is active, he's moving around. He seems to be very interested in something. I think he's actually coming down. What is he doing? He's a curious cub. He's coming out of the tree now. Let's see what he's going to do. He spotted something out there, something interesting. <clears throat> you know what? I was hoping for a leopard sighting this morning. Big yawn. Okay, we've got some information from James. Tandi is the oldest daughter of Karula. And Karula, we all know, is one of the most famous leopards in the world. Okay, we've got the, the cub. It's on the ground. It's moving through the grass. And you can see that camouflage really working. What is he up to? Hey, Tumba, the curious cub, is about eight months old. And he seems to be already quite bold. I don't think we can see him now. We've, he's just ventured a little bit too far into the long grass. 
Mom's keeping a careful eye on her cub. Okay, apparently uh, seems to have spotted a, a water buck. Mom's just watching. She doesn't seem to be too stressed at this stage. She's still comfortably watching her cub. And he's checking out a water buck. But she's not taking her eyes off of him. She may not have moved a paw, but I can definitely see that she is looking in the direction of her young cub. The cub is still going to be reliant on mom for almost two years. So he's still got a long way to go. Oh, there we go, we can see her face now. Isn't she beautiful? Look at those eyes. She's focalizing, but not towards the cub. She seems to be looking in the other direction. Maybe she's calling him back. She's saying, that's enough. Come back to the safety of this tree. Watamba seems to be a curious cub. And he's still out there investigating the water buck. Our mom's still up in the tree, keeping an eye on him. Mother leopards are very protective over their young cubs. Uh, when he gets a bit older, he will have to... Okay, we're having a look at a big, thick tail, which of course they use for balance. Leopards are incredibly agile and phenomenal tree climbers. Short and thick and powerful. Leopards are capable of dragging prey even heavier than them themselves, right up into trees. She's watching that cub again. He doesn't seem to be obeying her calls. Well, it's heating up now, so it's unlikely that they will be very active. This is sort of the time when leopards close down. They'll move in the cool of the night and they can save energy. And of course, use their brilliant night vision to their advantage. And once the sun rises, they'll sort of make their last moves and then find a comfortable position in which to spend the daylight hours. I've got to find a nice level branch there, something comfortable enough to support her, her weight. Okay, she seems to look at the tail moving. She is very focused on her cub. What are you doing? But she's still trusting that he knows what he's doing. She's still up in the tree, but not taking her eyes off him at this stage. <laughs> 